Shattered. It's Miss Courtney here with my helper Tristan and Julian's probably going to help and maybe my puppy Thomas too. Um, and today I am going to bring you our yoga poses for the week, for the clown's room at least. Um, our theme this week is to infinity and beyond. So it's all about space. So our poses this week are all going to be space themed. So I'm going to step back and you can follow along with me and the boys and enjoy. All right, come on, Julian. Come on, Julian. You going to step back with us? All righty. All right, the first pose that we are going to do is called the sun pose. And for the sun pose, you're going to put your arms straight up into the air. And then you're going to bend from one side and stretch. And go to the other side and stretch. You should really be feeling the stretch in your side muscles over here, right? When you feel it, then go back to the other side. Nice and slow, and that is the sun pose. Our second pose, come here, Julian. Come here. Our second pose is gonna be the moon pose. And it's almost the same as the sun pose. We're gonna reach up nice and high, but we're not gonna bend. We're just gonna reach as high up as we can. And this is really gonna help us with our breathing and calming our bodies, right? and stretching those muscles. So again, this is the moon pose. If your arms get tired, you can just take them down and shake them out. Shake out your arms. Shake, shake, good job. And go back up when you're ready. Awesome. All right, so that's our second pose. Our third pose is called the shooting star pose. This one's a little bit tricky, but I think we can try it. So we are going to turn to our side, you're gonna stand on one foot and you're gonna put the other foot straight back. And then you're gonna put your arms against your side and try and balance as best as you can. Oh, good job. And when you can't balance anymore, you can switch feet. Good job, Tristan. To the other foot. I can't balance on this foot. And you're gonna try and balance on the other side. <laughs> Do as best as you can. If you need to hold on to something, right? Maybe you can hold on to my sofa here. You can balance. And hold on to your sofa so that your foot's nice and straight. Good job. And you can switch and do the other foot if you need to. Great job. I can do both. You can. Great job. Awesome, Tristan. Good job. And that was the shooting star pose. Our next pose is called the comet pose. And for the comet pose, we're going to get down on the floor. You're going to be on your knees, right? And you're going to just sit on your knees. You're going to put your hands in front of you. And you're going to stretch forward. Stretch, stretch forward as best as you can. I'm, I'm doing it. Good job. Feel those arms pull and your muscles pull and stretch. Really work on your breathing. And calm your body. Again, that's the asteroid. Oh, that's the um, comet pose. Great job. Hi, Thomas. Are you helping? Let me put me to Thomas. All right. And then our last pose is gonna be the comet pose, not the comet, the asteroid pose, sorry, I'm switching them up, is the asteroid pose, and it's the same thing, you're gonna sit on your knees, Thomas, come over here. It's the same, it's the same. Yeah, it's gonna be the same thing, but instead of putting your arms in front of you, they're gonna go to your side. So look, you're gonna rip, stretch, and put your hands to the floor, and your arms to the side. Great job, nice. yoga for this week. We miss you. I hope you all are having so much fun at home with mommy and daddy and everybody and I hope you're using those listening ears. Okay. Be good. Stay safe and hopefully we'll see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.